<sighs> so, hello everybody, what is going on? It is Gibishmon here, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Dark Rising. Last time, we made an attempt to catch some mythical Pokemons and failed horribly before finding our way to Dark Rising HQ. This time, well, we're going to take a little step back, and before all of that, we're going to return to Montage Forest. Because, or Montre Montage Fortress, sorry. Because we do have something of interest here that I didn't bother going over yet, and I was kind of waiting at a good point. I felt like that was a good point, I know it interrupts a lot of the story, but I felt I should address it now before uh, we move too far along, because I am an explorer type person, and I probably think you guys are as well. Within the Montas Fortress, we have the training grounds. Exciting, huh? Think you're gonna enjoy yourself here. Let me explain how everything works. Something tells me this is gonna be a long explanation. The training grounds has four different areas. Each area has Pokemon of specific levels. They are 50 to 55, 60 to 65, 70 to 75, 75 to 80. You're also allowed to catch any Pokemon you encounter. Cool, eh? Better than Kanto Savari Zone, that's for sure. Like, yeah, sounds awesome, thanks. Short and simple, not as long as you would think, but yes, it is based off of the Safari Zone within Kanto. Within the areas, or within all four areas, there are loads of little spaces to go, pockets and stuff, and trainers to talk to. Take home his gifts. Where did my boyfriend Eric go? Ah, okay. That's interesting. But yes, within the training grounds, there are loads of little stops and stuff that you can actually check out and see all that there is to obtain. There is no time limit. There is no um, real wall or block off, I guess. Or there isn't as many. You can pretty much encounter almost anything you can think of. There's loads of areas to surf and loads of places to go and actually see. And in terms of what you can encounter, it is a lot. I will be blunt straightforward with it. Not only that, but there's loads of items strewn about that you can miss out on if you choose not to search. So keep that in mind as you go about here. I don't think a dowsing machine exists in this game. I think I'm right on that. Yeah. We don't have one such thing, so we're kind of left to just try checking empty areas and looking about and seeing if by chance there is something. Of course, there's always going to be some items lying around we can get for free, but there's a lot of uh, open pocketed areas that have stuff that we just aren't quite sure yet, and we just have to check and hope that it might be it. There we go. We see an, <laughs> an item floating. <laughs> in the water? I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be uh, some land here, but it's fine. Yeah, so it's TM11 Sunny Day. Hey, not too bad. Cool. Full restore. I will take that. Thank you. Let's see what's in this rest house. How many did you catch? Bush from the effort. Ooh, I'm tired from all the fun. Got a chancy. That makes all this all worthwhile. Oh, that's such a throwback to how rare that Pokemon is. And catching one, the success you feel from being able to succeed in that is stellar. Um, I guess what I can do, what I can note, is um, the various Pokemon that are remaining, or the Pokemon that you can find within the training grounds, because there's a lot to really see, and a lot to peek at, and a lot to potentially miss out on and a lot to keep in mind, so don't mind me while I stand here and kind of go over everything. In Area 1, uh, which is where we started at, in the grass you can find yourselves Kangaskhans, Chinchinos, Zevstrikas, Whimsicots, Pidgeots, Staraptors, Golems, Gigaliths, Chanseys, Audinos, and Blissies, all in the 50 to 55 range. In the water, you can find Bloatzels, Cloisters, Alomomolas, Gastrodons, and Gyarados. With, via fishing, you could also find yourselves some Starmies, some Swanas, and even Lapras. For the second area, which is to the right, you can find yourself Tauros, 
Buffalot, Exeggutor, um, Beartick, Rapidash, Ursaring, Ninetales, Politoed, Obama Snow, Obama Snow, Hippowdon, Reuniclus, and Gothitelle. Damn, bro, they can hear you. Calm down. Um, within the water, you can find Swana, Tentacruel, Polyrath, Walrein, and Milotic. Of course, as I'm descending these, the chances of encountering them are getting lesser and lesser, so keep that in mind. The Fishing Rod, you can find Swana, Tentacruel, Walrein, Polyrath, Poly... Don't know why there's two of them. Maybe Poly Toad? Starmie, Floatzel, Lapras, Gyarados, and Milotic. That is for the 60 to 65 range. Within this area, Area 3, you can find yourself Fortress, Ferrothorn, uh, Yanmega, Breloo, Ambipom, Miltank, Ludicolo, Shiftree, Nian Shao, the evolved form of Nian Fu, which we've seen a few times, Tangrowth, Hitmon Lee, and Hitmon Chan. Within the water, you can find Crawdot, Lantern, Jellicent, and Kingdra. And with the fishing rod, you can find, uh, to add to the mix, Starmies, Lapras, and Kingdra. Oh, that is 70 to 75, and last up is the 80 to 85 range, which is pretty much the last spot, the last area that we can get to. Let's go run up around a few more times. Ooh, a quick clock. That's going to be super useful for slacking, if you can pretty much get a chance to, to activate it. My Eevee evolved into Flareon, but a friend's Eevee turned into Vaporeon. Wonder why? Because of the stones. Go to the deepest part of the training grounds. It's very scary. Oh, I bet. You can keep any item you find in the training grounds. I found some pretty valuable stuff. Cool. I wonder who has the se wonder who the secret trainer in the training grounds is. I tried going deeper, but it was too tough. Pokemon become stronger and stronger. Interesting. It's not how you spell interesting, but okay. <laughs> it's fine. Give me this. Protein. That's gonna be really useful. Now one thing I'm debating on is whether or not I should take a moment to grind up a bit, I guess. Not here specifically, but just I guess train my own team, my own Pokemon up um, via certain means, as in go recatch them all and try something different. I don't know yet, I'm still debating on that. Um, but obviously that is my choice and I recommend you guys think about it as well. We find a set of gold teeth. Okay. TM32 double team. Not too bad. <coughs> we see that there's something to the north, but I want to do a little bit more scanning, a little bit more searching. See what else is around here. Dozing rocks and Pokemon might make them run, but they'll be easier to catch. I hiked a lot, but I didn't see any Pokemon I wanted. Fair enough. Using bait will make Pokemon more likely to stick around if they get busy eating. Fair enough. <sighs> Within Area 4, Pokemon you can find here are of course 75 to 80, so you want something a bit more well-rounded and caught up to your team, a bit easier to train as well. There you go. You can find in the grass, Rhyperior, Agron, Scrafty, Machamp, Hitmontop, Alakazam, Snorlax, Slacky, Shedinja, Scizor, Lucario, and Zorark. In the water, you can find Jellicent, Sharpedo, Gyarados, and Milotic. Via the fishing rod, you can find Floatzels, Cloisters, Swanas, Polyrats, Lanterns, and Politoads, along with Jellicent, Sharpedo, Crawdons, and Lapis. Oh, that was a lot to go over. There's a lot of fun to keep in mind. I don't believe there's any other items I'm missing out on or skipping out on. Again, I recommend you make sure you check all areas and obtain everything that you can because there is something of high interest at the end of this. And I mean crazy high interest. Though be warned, it is very, very tough. They did mention a tough trainer waiting at the end for us. There isn't a lot of information written down on it, so I'm going into this as blind as a bat with what to expect. <sighs> Step forth. We see a woman. Female? 
I know exactly who it is, and I'm actually gonna bother saving for once. I wanna play it safe. <sighs> Hi, Isaac. M Mom? What are you doing here? No. You can't be. That's right. I'm the secret mysterious trainer everyone is talking about. Mom, you've gotta be kidding me. How'd you even get here? I decided to travel, get off my lazy butt for a while. The house is clean and spotless, so I deserve vacation, agreed. Okay. So, we gonna do this or what? You, you're serious? A battle with you? That's right. You don't wanna let your father and Arceus down, do you? Wait, how do you know about no more talky talk, dear? How do you say it? Let's do this? She pulls out a Pokeball with a flower stickers, flower stickers around it. That Pokeball, it's the one you told me never to touch. <laughs> battle time. Here we go. A Pokemon battle with our own mom. She is a Pokemon breeder, so expect a tough fight. She starts off with a Dragonair. Level 80, pure dragon type, I believe shed skin for the ability. Probably armed with the moves Thunder Wave, uh, Dragon Pulse, Dragon Rage, Twister, Thunderbolt, Flamethrower. It's funny enough, it can have Ice Beam as well, Stone Edge, Ancient Power, Earthquake. It can have a whole slew of moves that I'm coming up with on the spot. I'm trying to give you guys a good suggestion to have good awareness on. Thankfully, we are pretty high level, so this shouldn't be too but I could be entirely wrong and I could just get completely blitzed out of nowhere. Moving forward, she has Shellgon. Okay, okay. Shellgon is level 80 as well, I believe. Rockhead, or I think it's Rockhead, yeah, for the ability. Armed with the moves, probably Dragon Pulse, Earthquake, Protect, Body Slam. Um, we can have also Stone Edge, Ancient Power, Rock Throw, Rock Slide, possibly Earthquake, Dig. Headbutt, uh, Ember, things like that. Shouldn't be that difficult though. I mean, this is a bit easier than I was expecting, but I mean, we're holding out pretty well. Next one is Gabite. Level 80, Ground Dragon type. I think Sand Veil for the ability? Something like that. So uh, it's faster than Sandstorms, I think. Probably armed with the moves Dragon Claw, Dragon Dance, Earthquake, Dig, Headbutt, Take Down. Um, I'm not sure what else. Maybe sand attack, things like that. Down and outs, and I'm sorry. What? She has a shaman. Level 75. Grass flying type, I believe. I don't know what his ability could be. Maybe like chlorophyll? So boost speed and sunlight? I'm not quite sure. Move wise, I don't know. Roost. Aerial Ace, Air Slash, uh, Razor Leaf, Giga Drain, Sleep Powder, Leech Seed, Poison Powder, Giga, uh, Mega Drain, I don't know, that's all I can really think of. Okay, it's not as difficult of a fight as I thought it was, maybe you're supposed to come here earlier, I don't know, but we blitz through it pretty easily, and we're good. Alright, cool. Pokemon Breeder Mom has been defeated. Aww, you beat me. What Pokemon was that inside the Pokeball? We gained 2100 Poke Dollars. You did very well, Isaac. I'm proud of you. Mom, come on now. How did you know about Arceus? And what was that Pokemon? It's a Shaman. Me and your father nursed it back to health many years ago. Ever since, me and Shaman have shared a very strong bond. I only spend time with it when you're away from home or busy helping Professor Ivan. Why'd you keep it a secret? Your father did not want you involved in our past, not even the slightest. Shaman, along with many other Pokemon, helped your father defeat Darugus a long time ago. So, you know. I knew before you did. I also know it's your destiny to save your father. Rescue Arceus, defeat Darugus. I also know about Kaz's role in this as well. He's just as qualified to defeat Darugus as you are. You have your father's strength as an advantage over him, but at this point, I'm afraid he's stronger than you. Mom, I just beat Kaz in a Pokemon battle in Novella Town. I see. Tell me, dear, did K 
has used every member of the Sword of Justice against you. The Swords of Justice? Yes. Kaz has the ability to connect to all four Pokemon that represent that group. If you don't find a way to become stronger, he will be the one to defeat Arugus. So, I have a gift for you. A, a gift? Yes. This may not even the odds enough, but it will surely help you for now. We receive Shaman. Transfer PC, thank you. I want you to bring Shaman along with you to save your father. Shaman is used to battle Darug used in battling Darugus and its tricks, so you're in good hands. Wow. I don't know what to say. Thanks, Mom. No problem, sweetie. Now run along. I'm so proud of you. Bring Daddy home. Alright then. That was a jump. I will be 100% honest with you. I was expecting that battle to be a lot more difficult. Thankfully, it wasn't as tough. We cleared, cleaned, well, we, what's the right word I'm looking for? We managed to blast right through it, no problem. And now let's go check out Shaman. We can actually give it a good look and see. Ugly ass fucking thing. It is level 75. It has a miracle seed, okay. Let's move you down here. I should probably do the same thing for Victini. Let's, uh, no, yes. Let's have a look at Shaman. Gentle nature, holding a miracle seed, grass flying type. Serene grace. That was the ability. I don't know why I thought it was gonna be like some weird chlorophyll or overgrow thing. I should have known Serene grace. Sword stance, aromatherapy, air slash leaf blade. That is quite the move pool. <sighs> ah, that is, yeah, that is definitely something. That is not a Pokemon I wasn't expecting, but cool. We have it added to our party, added to our our group, our cast of characters. Um, I don't think I have anything that can utilize the Miracle Seed. No, I don't. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. But cool. Hey, that is one thing to not worry about. I'll take it. I guess all that's left now is to head back to Trilogy Islands, go back to Twilight, the Twilight Zone, there we go, and uh, go hunt those mythicals. I failed to catch them last time, I'm hoping next time around I, I have a better chance, but we'll see what happens. I stocked up on Ultra Balls, I sold the Pokeballs and Grey Balls because I don't need them anymore. And I suggest you do as well. I'm, I stocked up, I wanted to be prepared, be ready, be armed to the teeth. And now, I suggest you do the same. Next time, I want you guys back over at the Twilight Zone. Uh, after our little events in Toxitaria, we're gonna try to capture those four mythical Pokemon to add them with us. That'll be a total of seven, actually, because we'll have Landorus, Shaman, and Victini already. Cool. Hope you guys did enjoy. Hope you all continue to enjoy. I'll be seeing only be dudes later. Peace out, everybody.